بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی شیل ایکسپلین دیٹ واٹ از کوالٹی کنٹرول اینڈ ہاؤ وی کین کنٹرول دا کوالٹی آف سم پروڈکٹ سو وی شیل یوز دا کوالٹی کنٹرول چارٹ وچ وی شیل ایکسپلین ان دس لیکچر لیٹ اس سی دا ڈیفینیشن آف کوالٹی کنٹرول A testing procedure of a production process performed every hour or half hour etc. to see whether the process is running properly or not is called quality control. In quality control, a continuous process of production is being inspected in order to search for trouble and remove it. This method is used to maintain a desired level of standard in a production of service. So now we can easily understand that a manufacturer fixes a standard for his product. Then he will maintain that standard for all his products. To maintain his standard He uses the process of quality control. According to the process of quality control, he takes a sample after each 30 minutes or 20 minutes or 1 hour and checks its quality. If it is according to his specific standard, he continues the production process. If it is not according to his specific standard, he stops the production process to remove the fault. This whole process is called the quality control. The manufacturer maintains the standard of his product by constructing the quality control chart. This chart contains just three horizontal line. The red line which is called the central line is the standard of his product. He will fix that standard by himself. And then we draw the UCL upper control limit and LCL lower control limit by using some mathematical formulas. Upper control limit is the maximum acceptable variation for his product from the central line. And LCL is the minimum acceptable changes of his product from the central line. Now after a specific time, let us say after each 20 minutes he will take a sample and will draw it on this chart. If it, is, if it lies between the UCL and LCL, he will continue the process. If it lies above the UCL, he will stop the process. If it lies below the LCL, he will stop the process to find the fault and remove it. Let us explain it by an example. A juice manufacturer decides the standard of sugar for his juice. He will put an average of 100 gram sugar in 1 liter of juice. So the standard of sugar is 100 gram per liter. Now with mathematical formulas we shall obtain the UCL. Let us, it is 104 gram per liter. Then by mathematical formula we shall obtain LCL and let us we get 96 gram per liter. Now after a specific time, let us say after each 30 minutes he will take a sample and will check the amount of sugar. And if the amount of sugar is 101 gram per liter, then he will continue the process. 
if it is 102 gram per liter he will continue the process if it is 103 gram or 104 gram per liter then he will continue the process but if it is 105 gram per liter he will stop the process and will find the fault to fix it again if he take a sample and it is 99 gram per liter then he will continue the process if it is 98 gram per liter he will continue the process if it is 97 gram per liter he will continue the process if it is 96 gram per liter he will continue the process now if it is 95 gram per liter he will stop the process and will find the fault to fix it we have three cases to find the value of upper control limit and lower control limit case number one for population mean mu with non sigma if we are given a problem in which sigma the population standard deviation is given in that case UCL can be obtained by this formula and LCL can be obtained by this formula and we can see just we replace plus with minus to obtain LCL here the value of alpha must be given in the question it is the significance level if it is not given we can assume any value of alpha and then we can find the value of z alpha by 2 from the table case number 2 is for population mean mu with unknown sigma we are given a question but the value of population standard deviation is unknown and n is large say n is greater than or equal to 30 in that case UCL can be obtained by this formula and LCL can be obtained by similar procedure by changing plus with minus here instead of sigma we use S here S is the sample standard deviation which we can obtain by using this formula now case number three for population mean mu with unknown sigma and n is very small by small n we mean let us say n is less than 30 in that case UCL can be obtained by using this formula and LCL by this one just replacing plus with minus here instead of Z distribution we use the student T distribution so from the table of student T distribution we can obtain the value of T alpha by 2 comma nu n minus 1 is equal to nu and with similar procedure we can obtain LCL and then we can just construct the quality control chart let us solve this example a machine is filling cans with oils which form a normal population with mean 1 liter and standard deviation 0 0.03 liter set up a control chart for controlling the mean assuming that the sample size is 6 and significance level is 0 0.01 now in this question first of all we can see that the value of mean mu is given and that is one liter standard deviation is also given sigma is equal to 0 0.03 liter and now we can see that we shall take a sample of size 6 and the significance level which is called alpha that is given which is 0 0.01 so if we divide alpha by 2 we get that this is equal to 0 0.005 and now 
we can see that here we shall use case number 1 because the population standard deviation sigma is given. So for that we shall obtain the value of z alpha by 2. In other words we need to find the value of z 0 0.005 from the table. And if we just check the table its value is 2.58. And now we can obtain the UCL and LCL. So UCL is equal to mu plus Z alpha by 2 sigma or under root N. Let us substitute values here. So the value of mu is 1. The value of Z alpha by 2 that is 2.58. The value of sigma that is 0 0.03 divided by n under the root n is 6. And now by using calculator we can simplify this and the solution here is 1.05. So UCL is this one. In the next step we have to obtain the LCL lower control limit and this is equal to mu minus z alpha by 2 sigma or under root n. So let us substitute values here. We have 1 minus z alpha by 2 is 2.58 sigma is 0 0.03 n is 6 under the root. And when we simplify this by using calculator, we get 0 0.94. So LCL, that is now 0 0.94. Now we can construct the control chart which contains three lines. So first of all, we draw the first line which is the central line and that is the value of mu which is 1. Then we can draw another line which represent the UCL upper control limit and that is 1.05. Now we can construct the third line which is lower control limit and that is equal to 0 0.94. Now the manufacturer can take sample after a specific interval and if it lies inside the UCL and LCL then he will continue the process but if it lies outside of the UCL R LCL he will stop the process. Let us solve another example. Suppose the process of manufacturing piston heads leads the supervisors to conclude that the end control process produces piston heads with radius values that are normally distributed with a mean 30 mm and standard deviation of 0.05 mm. The sample size of 5 is taken every hour. Construct a control chart. In this question, the value of mu is given, which is 30 mm. The value of sigma is given, which is 0 0.05 mm. N is given, which is equal to 5. But here, the value of alpha is not given. So we can assume any value of alpha. Let us suppose alpha is equal to 0 0.01 then alpha by 2 will be equal to 0 0.005. And now we can use the table of z distribution to find the value of z alpha by 2. So z alpha by 2 mean we have to find the value of z 
0.005 and from the table of normal distribution its value is 2.58 let us construct the UCL to find the UCL upper control limit its formula is mu plus z alpha by 2 sigma over under root n we substitute values here mu is 30 the value of z alpha by 2 is 2.58 sigma is 0 0.05 and n is 5 under the root once we construct this by using the calculator its value is 30.06 and now let us construct the LCL lower control limit which is equal to mu minus z alpha by 2 sigma over under root n we substitute values here 30 minus 2.58 sigma is 0 0.05 n is 5 so under the root now using calculator and after simplification we get that this is 29.94 let us construct the control chart which, which contains three lines the first is called the central line which will be fixed by the manufacturer and it is 30 mm now we construct another line to draw another line this is UCL the upper control limit and its value is 30.06 the third line is the LCL lower control limit and it is 29.94 now the manufacturer will take a sample after each hour and if its radius is between 30.06 and 29.94 he will continue the process and if it is bigger than 30.06 or smaller than 29.94 he will stop the process to fix the problem and correct it note that for convenience sometime we don't obtain the value of z alpha by 2 from the table and we directly use this formula instead of z alpha by 2 we just take 3 here similarly we don't obtain the value of z alpha by 2 in the lower control limit and we use this formula to find the value of LCL just we use 3 instead of z alpha by 2 that's all